In this world, we have digital versions of ourselves, or avatars. And we call this the metaverse. And you're gonna be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop. Wait just a darn minute, Mark. Are you telling me I could sleep with a virtual Mark Zuckerberg? Now you've drawn me in, you handsome fellow, you. I highly recommend meditation apps like Guided Meditation or Trip. It's oddly relaxing and peaceful. Okay, there's absolutely no one who's convincing me that sleeping with a bulky ass headset is gonna be relaxing. Metaverse is garbage. This is coming from a person who doesn't like going outside. I would love if the entire world was completely virtual and I never had to move a muscle in my entire life. And even as this person who wants to stay inside for the end of time, Metaverse is still garbage. Okay, you guys have probably heard of Metaverse, basically, uh, good old Mark Zuckerberg. Mr. CEO of Facebook, he suddenly decided that, hey, um, Facebook's kind of dying. Lots of people are questioning our data usage. You know, lots of unethical BS, lots of media attention. We need to shift the attention. It's time to shift our focus to meta. Now, it's kind of hard to define meta, but it's kind of like if your entire life was a game, you're just wearing a VR headset and everything you do is online. So you guys are probably familiar with VR games like Beat Saber, VR chat, stuff like that. Now imagine that, but instead of like one hour or two hour of your time, you're just playing with friends and stuff, it is your entire life. You never take your stupid headset off. And it just, it seems so creepy. So absolutely Zuck, man. I, it's the Zuck. So I went ahead and looked at some of the presentations that Mr. Zuck did. And uh, these kind of look like some PowerPoint sixth grade garbage, bro. Like, I don't know how it's humanly possible how Facebook with its 180 gajillion dollars came up with the worst advertisement of all time. Okay, so here we have a person attempting to live in the metaverse, right? The current state of it. So I decided, why wait? And stupidly, I dared myself to visit the metaverse for a full 24 hours in its current not so great state. I set a few rules. The headset can come off to eat and go to the bathroom. No. Yes, I attempted to sleep with it on. I checked my phone only if it was urgent. I had notifications coming into the Oculus Quest 2 headset. This seems like a 24 hour challenge that you put yourself through for like YouTube views, not like something you actually wanna live and do properly. I started with games like Beat Saber, since right now they're the most popular use of VR. Okay, I'm gonna customize my avatar for a night out. I guess in the metaverse, I could have short hair. I wasn't exactly prepared for what would happen next. Isn't this literally just VR chat, but worse? Like, has anybody played VR chat? What? As soon as I was in the public area, I started hearing people talk and chat and... <laughs> Apparently there are no masks in the metaverse. Oh no, you better put your mask on. You're gonna contract the Zuck. I knew I had really made friends forever when they asked me to go to a comedy club by clicking on this portal thing. Okay, so you enter a virtual world and somebody invites you to some random place and you're, you've made friends for life. I think you're probably getting trafficked. That's, that's probably more likely the scenario. The club was so obviously fake, but my presence in it and the presence of all these other people felt really real. Yeah, that looks so real, man. That's, that's, that seems like a perfectly awesome time. This is Roblox but somehow lower quality. How did you make something so bad? I highly recommend meditation apps like guided meditation or trip. It's oddly relaxing. Also again, what the hell is happening? So this is the virtual world that she's looking at. So her eyes are open, right? So if your eyes are closed, what the hell is the point of the headset? If your eyes are open, then you're not sleeping. But if your eyes are closed, then how are you looking at the virtual world? I am so confused. There's so many loopholes and things that just doesn't make any sense. I woke up feeling refreshed. I pulled up some morning reading in my web browser. Got Google News over here, the Wall Street Journal website over here, and Instagram over here on the right. Yeah, that seems like a healthy way to wake up. Just bombard yourself with three screens and three tabs open before even brushing your teeth. I don't know, looking at the goddamn sunlight. Zuck's probably gonna get rid of food too. Just inject you with IV fluids your entire life. Looking out in the metaverse is great. I got so into it, I actually lost track of time. Okay guys, revolutionary idea. We Sports! Zuckerberg really outdoing himself here, isn't he? Nintendo gonna sue Mr. Zuck, bruh. Meetings in the metaverse are a thing. Hi, Aaron. I'm Joanna. Nice to meet Hi. you. Hi. 
Thanks for coming. The idea is that instead of Zoom, you chat as avatars. That sounds horrible. You, you know, on Zoom, like everybody just wants to turn off their camera and mute and like nobody ever says anything in any class. It's just incredibly awkward and everybody absolutely hates the virtual experience. They're just kind of forced to do it because of the pandemic. Why would I want to see your stupid Roblox avatar? I mean, I don't know what kind of quality we're going to expect, but if it's anything like this, this is just horribly bad. This is like Pokemon Legends Arceus or whatever where they got everything right except the graphics are just dog. What are my legs supposed to do? We can't actually detect the signal from your legs. Legs are coming. Coming soon. What a brilliant software update. We're gonna have legs. PewDiePie is gonna be so happy at this, bro. Put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Okay, somehow Zuck does such a horrible job of explaining this. Like, how would this even work? So you put on your glasses and your entire home transforms into this digital version of itself. So what, you walk around and, I don't know, hit, hit into your wall. You think it's a nice fireplace, but you actually jump out the window. What even is going, like, it can't transform reality, right? So I'm so confused. Marketing team, you need some better people please hey are you coming yeah just gotta find something to wear dude sometimes i look at this guy and i'm just like how does he exist like what how dude how do you even convey this little emotion there's got to be something wrong for sure whoa we're floating in space uh -huh. who made this place it's <laughs> awesome right who made this place guys it's me of course mr zuck again i'm so confused what the hell do you mean you're floating you mean like in a regular vr game or do you actually feel your legs going up like what kind of software like you gonna implant chips in our brain buddy privacy and safety need to be built into the metaverse from day one you'll get to decide when you want to be with other people, when you want to block someone from appearing in your space, or when you want to take a break and teleport to a private bubble to be alone. So if you want to be alone, you don't take the headset off. You, you teleport to a private bubble. Sounds like a good idea, man. Dude, you best believe Mark Zuckerberg has been taking some body language classes, like actually attempting the human movement. It, it's hard for his brain to understand it, but you know, you can see, you can see the little you know, subtle, subtle changes in, uh, in his posture. The way Mark Zuckerberg speaks is actually incredible, bro. You know, it's like programmed into his brain, right? If there's a comma or a full stop in his sentence, he will literally pause, right? This is the metaverse. Hi guys, it's me. Mark Zuckerberg. If you told me this guy was the first AI, aliens are like testing it on us, I would believe you. We also have to make sure avatars represent a diverse set of human facial features and skin tones. I'm more excited to see the NPCs. Like what would Mark think an NPC is like? Maybe he spices it up, you know, he just programs racism into the metaverse. Zuckerberg was that one guy staring at you in class just from the corner. He never did anything. He never blinked once. Okay, my ending thoughts on meta is that it's probably probably going to succeed but not as meta right someone else is going to do it better someone like more realistic more practical less of the zuck inside it you know i don't know let's let's see where it goes i'm definitely not buying any metaverse stock though goddamn okay bye bye see you next time